Welcome back to Traybar Tries the Evil Within. This is going to be part three. I just got done with part two. I wanted to end it because it was getting a little bit long, but I am picking up exactly where I left off. As you can see, same pause menu, and when I back out of it, we're just right back at the trap. Little recap, we're chasing Leslie through this weird, twisted world. We don't know what's going on. These abominations are chasing us, and there's traps everywhere, just like this one. And we're going to attempt to disarm it. And we got some trap parts. Because I do believe later on in the game, you do end up making items. Like traps, health kits... I don't know if you can make ammunition, but that would be helpful, because I don't think you can find a lot in the game. Someone was a drinker. Bullets, always good. Goopy stuff, always good. Maybe I could burn her with that. Right. We're going to equip the gun. Because if we reload the gun... Yes! I can pick that up. Pick the torch back up. This seems to be all there really is here. How about the window? Do you think that's all there is to this part? And then we just walked up from down here. There shouldn't be any enemies in this immediate vicinity. Because I did burn the bodies. However, there is a bear trap there. I'll leave that there, in case anyone tries to sneak up on me. The traps here are pretty useful, especially like pre-existing ones. You just need to note where they are in your head and you can use them in the environment to your advantage. So, we're going to disable this one. kind of exploring right now to apologize for the uh, random approach. Oh, yeah, that's right, that's right. That's right. What are you going to do? Oh, I just burned you. I set you on fire. Jump in, collect his goopy goopness. More goopy goopness. Turn the lantern off here. I think I could have walked under that one though, so. Don't think it would have been the end of the world if I'd walked into it, but still best to not test that. Especially when you're not 100% sure. 
Shit. That is what I'm going to attempt to do here. Can I get it? We'll disarm the bear. Just the one. Just I can get around it. Okay, so there's two there. Conk. Oh, my goodness. Or not. I can't aim. Oh! Shoot him in the testicles. I'm gonna light you on fire. I don't like you. However... Well, they always said, waste not. Waste not. Not. Snot. But not. And there's a very trap I can just say. Wow, they really trapped this place up like none other. So we're good to proceed. Thought so. God damn! I know I wouldn't be feeling that spry after that many pistol whips to the face. Oh, thank goodness. That pauses the game. Yeah, hold still, pretty. Bye. Rapid button pushing.
turn off the lanyard. Turn on the lanyard. position away but also can't see what's the crap. A little further intended to okay. So there was nothing down there. So let's just kinda go this route. Like just goopy stuff in there. That's a lot of bad guys. Best to sneak around them. Now I just kind of want to see where I'm at in relationship to that big group. I think they're right on the other side of them bushes. Nope. Water bad. There's nothing here I can really do. Oh. They're gonna have to run past that big old dude bastards. What's going to happen? Get it open. To the boat. Oh, that was fun. Chapter 2 is cleared. Let's go ahead and save this game.
I do apologize, guys. I am gonna cut part three short. I've been filming the uh, first three parts back to back. Uh, that way I don't miss any gameplay. I'm not gonna be playing this game on my own time. Anytime that I ever play this game, it is gonna be recorded. As you can see, I'm gonna go to the title menu here and I'm gonna take a bit of a break. I will see you guys come part four. Thanks again for tuning in and uh, look f look for uh, Traybar Tries the Evil Within Part 4. Again, I did mention it in my first video. I want to take the time to mention it in this one as well. Do check out the guys over at Ghost with Glasses Studios or GWG. Do a lot of cool stuff. They have a podcast that's going to be coming up. They are doing retro gaming night every Wednesday night. I know they've been playing a little bit of... Uh, play with Emily and some other retro games so go check them out and I will keep you guys up to date on the fun stuff that comes out for the current gen consoles I'm going to be working with the Ghost with Glasses Studios guys and uh, little sneak peek uh, if anyone's watched <laughs> watch the rest of this uh, clip and made it this far uh, April 12th I am going to do a day one blind run through upload of Dark Souls 3. Love those games. Played them all, beat them all. Uh, so I'm going to take some of my vacation, take time off from work, and uh, I'm going to do a day one launch. Uh, I might even live stream it. We'll just see what happens. But day one, Dark Souls 2, I'm going to have a video out and be a blind playthrough. No cheating, no Googling how to do this or that. And Again, you guys take care. Thanks for tuning in, and I will upload part four here in the future.